In a few days, we're gonna be celebrating Daiquiri Day, and I've tasked myself with the mission of creating the best possible daiquiri that I can. And today, I'm gonna to share that with you. So, let's make some coffee cocktails. All right, welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail channel, everyone. I'm Dan Fellows, and today I'm gonna to be showing you what I consider my ultimate coffee daiquiri. So when we've got two big flavors, the kind of daiquiri flavor profile and the coffee, we need ingredients to bridge the two together. And today we're gonna to be using pineapple in a kind of caramelized form, and also some warm spices to bridge the two together to get a really harmonious final drink. So I'm gonna share that with you now. And for this, we're gonna need our kind of classic daiquiri template, which is rum, lime, and sugar, but we're gonna be bringing some accents. So for our sweetener, we're gonna be using a caramelized spiced pineapple syrup, which is delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make that. We're gonna be using a spent coffee infused Jamaican rum. We're gonna be using freshly squeezed lime juice and also a little bit of smoked saline solution, which is one part smoked salt to five parts water. And this is a really simple drink to build. We're gonna be building it in our tin, starting with our sweet element. So for the sweet element of the drink, we've got our caramelized spiced pineapple syrup. Essentially all you do is take a washed pineapple, cut it into one centimeter rings, Cut those rings into six pieces, so you get essentially little pineapple triangles. Put these onto a heat source, such as a pan, or you can also do this in a barbecue. And you just want to get a little bit of color on the pineapples without taking up too much of the moisture. So as soon as you see that kind of rich brown color coming through to caramelize the pineapple, take it from the heat. And then you add 200 grams of these to our bowl. In the same bowl, we're going to add our spices. So we're going to go with two cloves, 20 grams of crushed cinnamon sticks, and one vanilla pod, which you want to cut in half lengthways, scrape out the seeds, and then cut into smaller pieces. Add that to the bowl, and then to this, we're gonna add 200 grams of golden caster sugar. Give this a really good mix together, and essentially this is gonna pull out some of the moisture from your pineapple, creating a really rich syrup. So you just wanna cover that, leave it to one side until all of the kind of moisture has been pulled out of the pineapples and you get a syrup developing in the bowl. Add 100 grams of boiling water to this, mix it all together, pass it through a sieve, and you're left with this, which is our delicious caramelized spiced pineapple syrup, which is a bit of a long title, but it's totally worth the effort. I'm gonna add 20 mils of this. This is our kind of base flavor profile. Then to balance this, we're gonna add 25 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice to the mix. The spirit element of the drink is gonna be Appleton 8 rum, which is a Jamaican rum with those really nice kind of sweet tropical notes with a little bit of funkiness in there as well. So you've got a kind of natural pineapple flavor in here, which works really well with the other ingredients, but it's also got a rich toffee character, which ties in with the coffee really well. So what I've done to make this, is essentially infuse one part spent coffee with 10 parts of our rum, add this to a jar, give it a really good shake together for around about one minute or until you've found enough of that coffee flavor infused into the drink, pass that through a paper filter and you're left with our coffee infused rum. So I'm gonna add 50 mils of this, which is our spirit base and also our coffee character in the drink. So the coffee I'm using is this ridiculously good Colombian Ombligon produced by Nesta Lasso and roasted by Assembly Coffee. And this coffee is perfect for two reasons. One, because it's full of those really delicious tropical fruit flavors that work perfectly in the drink. But also two, because the syrup in this drink was first created with Claire Wallace of Assembly, who recently finished third in the World Brista Championship. I'll link Claire and Assembly's socials in the description below so you can check them out. And if you don't have this specific coffee, don't worry too much, or that is delicious. You just wanna look for something with those really nice tropical fruit flavors that are gonna tie in with the other flavors in the drink. You can also make this without the coffee element and it's still really delicious, but I love coffee and I love coffee and cocktails, so hopefully you do too. I'm gonna to add one gram of smoked saline solution, which brings all the ingredients together and also really brings out that nice caramelized note in the pineapple as well. I'm gonna give this a really good hard shake over ice and then we're gonna fine strain this into a frozen glass. Garnish with one of our leftover caramelized pineapple pieces and then a piece of dried lime. And there we have my ultimate coffee daiquiri, featuring caramelized spiced pineapple syrup and spent coffee infused rum. So there it is, everybody. If I had to name this, I guess it would be a charred pineapple spiced coffee daiquiri. You can write that one down. So let's give it a try. At its core, it's definitely a daiquiri. The rum lime sugar comes through really clearly but the accents of the pineapple and the spice really kind of tie in with the coffee. And that's just a drink I really enjoy. And I think you'd enjoy it if you made it too. So if you do make this, this syrup's really versatile. You can use it in lots of other drinks. It works out being around about a two to one syrup. So you can replace pretty much any two to one syrup with this to bring in that nice spiced pineapple flavor. The coffee flavor is definitely there, but not overpowering. And the kind of daiquiri notes really lead. So I really enjoy that. Hopefully you do too. 
If you've found value in this and you enjoy coffee or cocktails, or maybe both, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking just here, which would mean a lot and really help support the channel. And if you like pineapple in coffee cocktails or coffee drinks, you might like this video, which is a fermented pineapple drink called Coffee Tapache, or perhaps this one, which is a tropical espresso martini. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone. Mm-hmm.